Let's talk about the different ways to put your line drawing on your fabric. Once you have prepared your fabric by washing it according to the manufacturer's instructions and have placed your surface behind where you plan to paint, let's add a pattern or design to the fabric. There are several options when it comes to transferring your pattern lines onto your fabric. You can use a dressmaker's pencil, an identipen, a piece of chalk, a pilot friction pen, gray or white graphite with a stylus, choco paper with a stylus, a number two pencil, or a watercolor pencil. There is also one other way that you can transfer lines and I will show you that in a little bit. First, let me show you how you can use each one of these methods. Depending on the type of fabric that you choose will determine which one of these methods will work best for your fabric. I do recommend that you test the method on a scrap piece or a small area of your fabric before you use it. I have a couple of scrap pieces of fabric, of cotton fabric, very lightweight cotton, that these methods work very well on. We're going to start with the dressmaker's pencil. Now the dressmaker's pencil, you can get different colors of lead for these and they draw beautifully onto your fabric. And the good thing about the dressmaker's pencil is when you apply paint, the lead from the dressmaker's pencil blends right in with your paint so they disappear into your fabric. Next we have the Identa pen. Now the Identa pen will not bleed when you add water or paint to it and that is a wonderful thing about this. The other thing is that once you use it, it's permanent. The great artist Doxy Keller had a great way of transferring on her lines to fabric and she used an Identa pen. You can come back when the fabric is dry and reapply those lines with your Identa pen for a really bold, fun look on your fabric. But you'll just draw or transfer your lines directly with the Identa pen and I'm going to show you in a little bit how you can do this in a different way. But for now, just take your Identa pen and draw right on your fabric. Next we have chalk. Now this is just standard chalk and chalk can be used on any fabric. You can use any color of chalk that you choose. I would use a color of chalk that corresponds with the design that you plan on painting with the colors that you plan on using and um, the chalk will blend nicely with your paint as well. Super easy fun way to use and with your chalk you can take your line drawing and draw on the back of your pattern. Nice bold lines on there lay it onto your fabric and use a stylus, a pencil, a pen and transfer those lines right onto your fabric. It's super easy way to get your lines onto your fabric. Super fun. Our next method is with a Pilot Friction Pen. Now a lot of people who uh, do things on fabric like these because they disappear with heat. You can draw directly onto your fabric with these and then just paint right over. The good thing about these is that with heat, the lines disappear if you haven't applied any paint over them. But be aware that when cold is applied to it, the lines will reappear. But a really fun way to get your lines onto your fabric. My favorite method is the number two pencil. I like to just draw and sketch my lines right onto my fabric. I try to use light lines when I am drawing onto my fabric because the paint will not um, make the lead disappear into the fabric. It will still be visible through your paint. So if you don't want your lines to be very dark, don't put them on very dark. But this is a favorite technique of mine. Next we have the watercolor pencil. This one is super fun as well and watercolor pencils come in such a variety of colors and you can um, draw your design with these with the corresponding color of paint that you plan to use but be aware that if you use a lot of moisture in your paint 
and you get it onto the watercolor pencil, it could bleed past the line that you've drawn. It's okay, you can just make your pattern a little bit bigger, but I need you to be aware of that. Our next option is our graphite paper. And I have a gray and white graphite paper. There's a dull side, which is the side that has the graphite on it, and a shiny side. And you can use these to lay underneath your pattern. Use a stylus or a pen and transfer on your pattern lines. It's very easy. That's white graphite. Let's do some gray graphite. But different fabrics can, can be a little bit um, softer when it comes to transferring on with graphite. So there, you can try one of these other methods or one that I will be showing you shortly. Now this is choco paper and choco paper is basically wax paper with chalk on one side. You can make your own choco paper by taking wax paper and rubbing chalk on one side of it and buffing it. You'll want to do several layers to get enough chalk on it to transfer onto your fabric for pattern lines. Again, you just lay your choco paper down, put your pattern on top, Use a stylus or a pen or pencil and transfer your lines right onto your fabric. These are some of the easiest ways to apply your pattern lines onto your fabric. But I have one more way that I would like to show you and it's a pretty easy and fun one. So let's see what that is. A really fun and easy way to add line drawings onto your fabric is with a light pad or a light box. You'll want to lay your fabric on here. I've placed a pattern line in between my two pieces of my bag here. Turn your light box on and look how you can see that line drawing. This is a canvas bag, so it's a little bit heavier fabric, and I can still see my line drawings. So I can take any of these methods right here and transfer on my line drawing directly onto my fabric. And how easy is that? You can also do it through a little bit heavier fabric. So this piece of fabric is a little bit thicker than that bag. Now, the line drawing is not as prominent. You need to make sure that your line drawing is really boldly drawn before you uh, do it on a thicker fabric. I can see my line drawing right there very easily. So I can take one of these methods and draw my lines right on to my fabric. Of course, lighter weight fabrics, the pattern is going to be so much easier to see. So you can lay your lighter fabrics on top of your line drawing and draw that. Even with the light off, I can still see my line drawing because my fabric is a thinner fabric. But this is an incredibly easy way to apply your pattern lines directly onto your fabric if you want them to be exactly as they are drawn. And there you go. You have your pattern drawn right onto your fabric. Now that you have your line drawing on, let's grab our paint and get painting. 